Hey there, welcome back to Lima Bean Living. If you guys are new here, my name is Emily. Welcome to my motherhood channel where I take care of all things mom. Today's Get It All Done video is starting off by making some sugar-free gummy bears. Aubrey really loves her little treats and sweets, and I just wanted to make something that was a little bit, you know, less unhealthy, so more healthy, I guess, uh, for her as well as myself and for Juan because we all just love gummy bears in this house. So I take a 0.6 ounce container of whatever jello you like. It could be, you know, sugar-free or not, depending on your preference. And then two-thirds cup of water and two Knox uh, gelatin packets. And you just heat that like over medium heat until it is well dissolved and like incorporated. And then you can put it into any silicone mold that you have. I actually have like a gummy bear one as well as little pizza, hamburger, and french fry little molds. So I went ahead and used like a clean syringe that I had on hand. You don't need this. You could probably just use like a small spoon. And I filled up all of the little crevices and stuff in the molds and threw it in the refrigerator. After chilling in the fridge and firming up, I just removed them. You guys can see how cute some of these designs are. The hamburgers actually even have like sesame seeds on them. Uh, so there's, it's very detailed. And these were gone very quickly. I think Juan and Aubrey just like devoured them. I don't even know if I had one besides the one that I sample in this video. So uh, they're very popular and I will have to be making them again. So next up, we are setting up my Latitool F50 laser engraver. We were sent this awesome product to review. It came packaged very nicely and like protected. And Juan went ahead and set it up for me because I was tending to the children. But uh, overall, like there weren't that many pieces. There was nice instructions online for him to follow and like a nice PDF. So after the whole thing was assembled, we had some fun and got started just kind of getting a feel for the product and how it works. And we etched different designs into some scrap wood that I had on hand on like a plate that we had that was like broken. So we thought, hey, let's give this a try on like a little folder that Juan had. And then even like a bread uh, or dough scraper that I got from the Dollar Tree just to kind of see the variety of materials that this actually works on and we are really impressed with the product. Uh, I'm really looking forward to doing more projects with this and hopefully I'll figure out just the perfect setting for the different materials that we have and create some really cool stuff. So make sure you guys stay tuned, um, subscribe if you guys are new and want to see more of this. I'm really excited to get working with it more. One of the cool things that you can do with this product is cut out wood and like make 3D puzzles. So you could cut out pieces that, you know, like when assembled, make a dinosaur skeleton or a little rocking horse or something like that. So um, if this seems like something that you guys are interested in getting, I will put the link down below in the description box. Again, I'd like to thank Latitool for sponsoring this video and sending me this amazing product. I really can't wait to craft more with it. So moving on, we are taking care of my plants. Now, for those of you guys who actually like know me, you know that I really don't have a green thumb. I just kind of get lucky and a lot of things die. But 
luckily, you know, my potatoes are doing well. My lavender, I think I'm keeping alive. I have some succulents that I'm trying to propagate. So those are doing pretty well. And then here are my pumpkin plants. The ones on the bottom, I actually planted um, in that spot originally. And the ones on top, I transplanted from a pot. And that is why I think they're not doing or they're not as green and they don't look at it as healthy because I think they're kind of fighting for attention because all the roots are mixed up. Whereas the bottom pumpkins are more spaced out, but they seem to be really thriving. We're getting a bunch of flowers. And later on, you're actually going to see me trim some off. I don't know if this was a mistake. I'm not a professional gardener, so don't like to take any of my advice. But from what I remember hearing is like, once you get your flowers for your pumpkins, a lot of the times there's more than one and then they're going to fight for the nutrients. And so I'm going to trim off some of the flowers later on so that they can really just like focus on one pumpkin and hopefully I'll get a nice big pumpkin from that plant. But anyways, we're going to see that later. Moving on, we are kind of taking apart the dead flowers and dead leaves from this uh, amazing bouquet that my brother-in-law gave us for our new home. But this bouquet has, you know, seen its best days and it's kind of, it was getting dry. So we took that out and I sent Aubrey off to pick some yellow flowers from our yard and I got to weeding. Now there is nothing like pulling out a weed and getting the entire root. Unfortunately, that will not be all of the uh, weeding experience that we see here. So I hope that you are still satisfied with at least seeing the weeds be gone. Also right here, I'm just showing like how steep it is on our little slope. There's, you know, definitely a fear of mine is falling down this as I get older and try to take care of our yard. So one tip that my neighbor actually, when he saw me weeding, he was like, you definitely want to carry a bucket around and throw the weeds like right in the bucket rather than, you know, carrying the weeds with you in your hand as you go throughout your yard because the seeds from the weeds will fall off and then you'll get even more weeds, even though, you know, like you're trying to do something good and actually get the weeds out of your out of your yard. So by putting them in a bucket, it, you know, hopefully eliminates a lot of the spreading of weeds as you are doing your yard work. So that is just a little tip that I thought I would share with you guys. Moving on to our front yard, which is for some reason harder for me to weed. The it's They're like stuck in the ground, but I wanted to show you guys this rose bush that we had transplanted from another part of our yard. It was looking like it was going to die, but you know, it's coming back to life and I'm really happy that we don't have a, you know, just a dead plant there. And then here you see our crepe myrtle tree is flowering. It's a beautiful like bright maroon. I'm I'm just in love with this tree and I'm so thankful that uh you know the builders decided to put this in our as part of our landscape. And then you can see that we definitely had some donkey action recently. I thought this was a really pretty weed. It was like bright red and anyone feel bad about picking weeds that you think are pretty? I mean, like, I know they're weeds, so I'm gonna take them out of my, my yard, but there's some weeds that I just think are really pretty and, um, you know, part of me wants to keep them, but I, I know that I shouldn't. Let me know if you have that struggle down below in the comments.
So like I said, while I was weeding, Aubrey was picking these yellow flowers and I thought that this would be actually a good activity for her is to reuse the vase and the little like spongy green thing that came with the bouquet, um, like reuse it and have her kind of create her own little bouquet of the flowers. Eventually she got kind of like, she was over it. She did a good amount of this little bouquet, but I thought I would help her out and just kind of fill it in a little bit more. So once my bouquet was complete, uh, we had some dinner. I made chicken teriyaki with rice and then broccoli and cauliflower. And what I decided to do was just make a whole bunch of extra broccoli on this night so that I could make Jack some more baby food um, after we ate dinner. So if you watched one of my previous videos, you got to see Jack eat his first meal. Uh, in, in general, food has kind of been hit or miss with him. He either is like in the mood to try it or he's not. And like, for example, tonight he didn't want to eat anything. <laughs> um, and then other nights I'm surprised at how much he eats. So I'll continue to try to expose him to food, obviously, but you know, it's kind of hit or miss at this point. <laughs> Once the baby food was made and the kids were in bed, I got to cleaning up our horrendous house. It was just completely a major disaster. So this corner I've realized is like the place all dust decides to go. So I will have to make sure to clean under our little chest a little bit more often. So here I'm actually taking 
taped crayons off of this vase. Aubrey was having some fun and I have a lot of extra like school supplies because I was a school supply hoarder back in the day, uh, which is working out now because Aubrey likes to use it and craft and stuff. And I let her just be free with the tape. I'm not too worried that she's like wasting because in her mind, she's not wasting at all. She's being creative. And so I kind of figure you know, I'm just going to let her use like an entire roll of tape every couple of days and it, it'll be fine. It's not that big of a deal and she's getting her creative juices flowing and I think that is more important than, you know, saving an extra dollar or something on a roll of tape. But anyways, I'd like to thank you guys for watching today's video. If you guys are new here, again, I'd love for you to stick around and subscribe and check out all of my motherhood content. Uh, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and I will catch you guys in the next one. end of the video. If you didn't know already, every Monday and Friday you can find motherhood and lifestyle content on this channel. And since us moms have to do it all, that may mean yummy recipes, easy DIYs, mom hacks, cleaning and organization, or just a combo of everything. Please know that you are loved and you are made for greatness, and I will catch you in the next one.